Hello guys, I'm Samantha, and today we are going to talk about what is Kalpen, what it is in general. But before we start, I'd like to remind you that if you're interested in joining to my VIP Telegram group, where I share all my trades, you can text me directly on Telegram so I personally answer you and add you to my private group with signals. And please don't forget that there is a limit of just 100 people, so you need to be quick to get there. I got the impression that I need to tell you more about scalping, what it is in general, what kind of trading method I constantly use in the video. So at the moment there are a huge number of traders in the world who trade binary options and they all differ from each other and not only in experience and knowledge but also in psychotypes have the maximum effect of trading style and approach. That is why some people like to choose options with expiration in one day, a week or a month, while others can cannot withstand transactions for more than a few hours. But there are also traders who like fast options that last no longer than 5 minutes and this approach is designed for quick trades and profits and it's called scalping. Scalping on binary options is a type of trading in which fast options are used with an expiration of no longer than 5 minutes and at the same time pursue the goal of getting as many profitable trades as possible in a very short time. In general, some scalpers can make from 50 50 transactions per day. The approximate trade of a scalper may look like this. I have prepared several charts here, let me explain everything on it now. For example, it is generally clear here that I have already explained this. You can see the level from which the price bounces and below which it does not move, respectively. I understand that it is either a sideways or an upward trend. You can also figure out here where it is better to enter into a deal. Here if we exclude the possibility that our chart will go down here for example we are trading here we start looking from here we see how our price has gone up strongly and notice some rollbacks begin then the last breakdown and a strong pullback to a decrease just the same this moment for me as for a scalper the ideal moment to put in a rollback and on the probability of a further decline to our level of this so so that is the first transaction is made here here I do not trade you can bet on an increase here for a short time for one minute then I wait for the moment to come when I start to see some small rollbacks then a sharp shot and a rollback again in such cases since this moment does not interrupt my maximum here so I wait I expect and put on a rollback about here when here already the third and fourth candle is closing down and thus I can trade all evening I see that after the second time we already clearly see the minimum that does not breakthrough. The chart does not reach the minimum here. The reversal is expected again. I expect an increase. I'm waiting here for example. My first entry may be here or if I don't have time it may be here. But in general you can even wait a little bit and trade from here and this way I can trade all day and trade a lot of deals to increase or decrease. Uh, it all depends on the situation on the market. If you count then it turns out here once or twice. You can even try to raise three four five six seven eight deals in a short period so in general any strategies and indicators can be used for scalping on binary options but some of them are more adapted to fast options while others do not always give an exact entry point to the transaction if we talk about whether scalping is suitable for beginners then we can immediately say no since such a trading approach requires considerable experience in trading high stress resistance and competent money management and risk management rules since when making a large number of transactions there may be long series of losses that not everyone can withstand both in terms of psychological preparation and in terms of deposit as I already mentioned scalping on binary options depends on time and is performed only on small time frames and expirations therefore it does not make sense to use charts for more than five minutes and more often the expiration of scalping transactions does not exceed two or three minutes. More experienced traders use a bunch of such time frames. One hour to determine the future trend you always see. I check the hourly time frame and the minute time frame to find an entry point. So I start my day with an analysis of the hourly chart where you can see the overall trend in the market at the moment. The workspace can look any way that is, for example, I choose a currency pair, I enter the hourly time frame, determine the price movement, determine that is moving down, go for one minute and my scalping strategy
strategy begins here. I wait for the entry point when I understand that now there is a high probability of a rollback to the top without breaking through the minimum. So respectively the movement will continue exactly downwards for me. This is like an input signal. Scalping like most trading approaches requires time when the markets are as volatile as possible since at this time there are maximum movements that can bring good profit. Therefore, the best time for scalping will be the European and American trading session from 3 in the morning to 11. In London from 8 to 4, in New York 5 to 0, in Sydney and Tokyo there is not much far away at this time. A lot of news is coming out and the largest financial centers around the world are opening, so most of this time there are excellent opportunities for making transactions. It is also worth noting that scalpers do not expect strong movements, it is enough for the price to pass only a few points, which means that if desired you can also scalp at night, but the risks in this case are higher, since it often happens that the markets almost do not move and the range can be very narrow. Scalping on binary options can be done in different ways, the most common of them are either trading on trend or trading from levels. Look again, we have already gone through this, but I will explain to you once again how we understand the direction of the trend movement. Let's say we analyze this chart by segments, I specifically highlight those moments that will be very interesting and more unpleasant for us to analyze, so we see how the price goes down to make sure that the downward trend our lows should to update here is our previous minimum. Then the next minimum below the previous one has been updated, so the next minimum below has been updated, the next below is updated, 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 the trend is updated every minimum below the previous one. Accordingly, we have a downward trend here and we can also claim a decline on it, then there are not very favorable conditions under which this begins. That is, our lows are not updated, but here what is important for us to do in order not to make a mistake is to understand whether a trend reversal has occurred or not. In order to understand this, what we will do here is a downward trend and here we can see an upward trend. Our chart has gone up, but to understand this, if it's a real trend, our highs must be updated now. Now we are not looking at the bottom point, but the top point, so here is our the highest upper point we can even do, like this has not been updated. We can check such moments here, that is, it seems to have gone up here, but it didn't update the previous maximum, respectively everything that that happens here is not real and here we do not trade and then here it went down again the minimum began to update respectively confirmation that we analyzed correctly and our chart went down there's such a small window for trading you can trade here respectively we understand that our minimums have started to be updated and then the next situation is where maximum has been updated here it has been updated above the previous one here unfavorable conditions for trading can be set for a minute, even for 30 seconds, given that we see a strong trend for an increase here, starting from about here and here, it is moving straight up to here. Updating means the trend has changed and then the chart is likely to move up. This is the situation with trend trading. Also the trade depends on the level, now we will analyze it. You all know about the price corridor as it looks to, I have drawn a price corridor here to understand how it works in general. Small deviations, but that's okay, that is the working range for trading. If you see a chart like this, yeah, the price corridor also happens like this, it happens on the contrary to the top, well, it happens like this, where the chart moves down and up like this, and here the trend for an increase, and this one for a decrease still happens sideways in general. What is the meaning of these options is trading even without indicators with such a sideways trend? Where should I trade every time the price bounces off the maximum from support and from resistance that is look i can trade here i can trade here i can trade here here well here we can imagine that there are shadows here yeah you can trade it here here and everything in principle ends here we just understand that we have such a sidewall the price corridor is indicated and we start trading okay what does it have to do with me trading it on a decrease and from below i trade up everything it's logical in the videos. I have seen it more than 
months, also a lot of trading, a lot of possible deals that I'm also starting from the highs and lows here. That is my transaction secure only at these levels and so on. Let's figure out the pros and cons of scalping. If you plan to trade fast options, then it's worth studying the pros and cons. The advantages include the ability to make a quick profit. Transactions can be made even on minor movements. You can use any active markets. There is almost no dependence on the global trend. You can trade even at night. The disadvantages include the necessary experience and trading skill. Market noise that is inherent in small time frames can greatly interfere with trading. By the way, you have heard more than once about noise and what is needed for the same zigzag that we recently have seen. It simply removes noise and imposes clear lines on the top of the chart, as well as these are high risks since a large number of transactions are beginning to be made. Let me now quickly explain you about the best indicators in my opinion for scalping. The well-known MACD histogram indicator is the Don Chan channel. It is also here, we have not passed it yet with you, but here it is. What else is good? Well, the alligator can be used for very beginners, the zigzag is also a wonderful indicator. You saw for yourself that our acceleration turned out to be the most beautiful. I love this kind of trading, this is my weakness, this kind of trading and in conclusion I can say with confidence that scalping and binary options can bring stable profits, but it should be borne in mind that such trading is not suitable for every trader, so as it requires good psychological preparation and constant presence near the terminal due to the fact that transactions are made very often and in large quantities. Beginners should remember that scalping this is trading with the highest risks compared to other trading approaches and therefore, before you start trading with fast options, you need time to study scalping and also test everything on a demo account and only then switch to a real account. Here's a video like this guys, I hope you like this format, we haven't gone through a zigzag with you yet, now you can go back and review those videos again. Maybe it will become even more clear to you, so give this video a like if you like this kind of videos. So it's a test, it all depends on your reaction, so if you like it, I will continue to do this format as well. And thanks a lot for your watching, bye!